continuing our exploration of Croatia, a longtime friend picked us up and split and drove us 115 kilometers down the Dalmatian coast to his father's hometown, where he spent summers as a kid and where he summers every year with his kids. The unassuming village of Drvenik is squeezed between the Adriatic Sea and the Biokovo Mountains. Virtually unknown to most of the world, including us, Drvenik is a popular summer vacation spot for Croatians, Serbians, Bosnians, other Eastern Europeans, and the occasional German. Drvenik is part of the Makarska Riviera, a 60 kilometer stretch of coastline around the much larger town of Makarska, population 14,000, with 17 villages from Baška Voda in the northwest down to Gradac in the southeast that turn into ocean resorts three months out of the year. In Dervenik itself, there are at least three small hotels and 13 Sobe homestays, and the main beaches also fill up with day visitors. The official population is 500, but many who grew up in the town return during the summer with their families, including our friend who hosted us for the week. As a beach destination, Dervenik is fantastic. The town consists of two main beaches, Gonjafala, Upper Bay, because it's in the direction of the sunrise, and Donjafala, Lower Bay, which gets the sunset. And the remoteness of the village makes the stars really stand out at night too. If crowds aren't for you, there are spots to park yourself and swim all up and down the coastline within a half kilometer from the main beaches. Even the main beaches are wonderfully empty and the water is beautifully calm in the morning. The beaches of Dervenik are great, but what's more interesting to me is the remarkable history of the village. One piece of history is just a few blocks inland from Doña Fala, a monument to the local partisans who died resisting the fascists of Hitler and Mussolini in World War II. Another World War II monument is in the town cemetery up the hill from Doña Fala. The entire town, in fact every town in the Makarska Riviera, used to be up the hill until the 1960s, about a thousand feet above sea level because, as my friend put it, all danger came from the sea. In 1962, however, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake hit four kilometers off the coast near Makarska, triggering landslides, wrecking villages, cutting communications, and causing mass flights of residents. 75% of the houses in Makarska were destroyed, and at least three people were killed. A nearby village, no longer on the map, was entirely destroyed. By the 1970s, all villages were relocated to the coast, but ties to the old ways of life still remain today. While the buildings are mostly abandoned and decayed, some residents return regularly to the old village and even use their ancestral homes for summer cookouts. Dining under grapevine covered trellises with views of the water. Down the hill from the village, the cemetery is very much in use today. The old church is only used now for funeral services but families still use and visit grave sites regularly. The hillside is also popular with tourists and hikers. There are roads and trails leading up from the coast. An overlook is located next to an Illyrian burial mound. The Illyrians were a pre-Roman tribal culture. One tribe, the Delmete, were ancestors of the Roman Emperor Diocletian and gave Dalmatia its name. One hiking trail starts in the old village and leads 1,200 feet up and over the mountain. Some villagers used to work land on the other side and would take this trail every day. 
The entire trail used to be wide and well maintained, but today only small sections show what once was. For those up to the task, the reward of getting to the top is totally worth it. The name Dervinic means forest, and the saying was that one could walk from the mountain to the sea only on treetops without ever touching the ground. From this perch, that saying looks pretty believable. Another spot near the old village that's popular with tourists is the Kostanicha Greb, a large stechak tombstone that was built in the middle of the 15th century. The faded carving, Greb means scratch, depicts a scene from local history, two horsemen fighting over a girl. During the Ottoman period, a local girl was forced into marriage to a Turkish soldier, but Romeo to her Juliet a local Kostanich boy challenged the soldier and was slain in the duel. From the Kostanich Greb, you can see another local historical landmark, the Gradana Fortress. The fortification on Gradana Hill was occupied and burned in 1687 by Ottoman forces. While the able men of the village were up north fighting the main Ottoman army near Zagreb, Old men, women, and children took shelter in the fortress against a smaller Turkish force. The initial attack was repelled, but when the victors sang a song taunting the Ottomans for losing to regular citizens, the Turks came back and destroyed the fort. A powerful moral lesson against gloating when you win. Another note about Dervenic, even though we didn't make use of them, ferries run between Doña Fala and Suchara on the island of Var many times per day. The only day trip that we took from Dervenic was about 100 kilometers away across the Bosnia and Herzegovina border to the towns of Medjugorje and Mostar. Because of the border crossing, we hired a taxi driver who came recommended and who knew both towns. Medjugorje, a name that means between mountains, has been a pilgrimage site for Catholics since 1981, when six local children first reported seeing apparitions of the Virgin Mary, reports that are still happening to this day. The site is Europe's third most important apparition site with more than one million pilgrims making the journey in 2019 alone. A support economy has grown up next to the Hill of Apparitions with cafes, restaurants, and souvenir shops. The path up to the hill is very rocky and rugged. The most penitent pilgrims do the climb barefoot, a brutal journey even though many stones have been worn smooth by all the traffic. The day we were there, temperatures were above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, making it that much more brutal. Continuing on to Mostar on the Naretva River, with the oppressive heat above 105 degrees, we didn't spend nearly as much time as we wanted to there. The area has been inhabited since prehistoric times, and some Roman ruins still remain. It is some of the most brutal history in the region, changing hands between Christians and Muslims multiple times through the centuries. The city was hit particularly hard in the Bosnian War of the 1990s, with bridges, including the famous Old Bridge, being destroyed. Even now, an uneasy peace exists between the two religious factions and local politics are still unstable. 
The old bridge was rebuilt in 2003 and the surrounding area inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2005. Old Town has a great vibe to it and we hope to come back and spend more time, but not in the summer. We hope that you enjoyed our video. If you did and want to see more from us, please help us out with the YouTube algorithm and hit like on the video, subscribe on our channel, and feel free to share. Follow.